Now another thing, oh bro, you just speaking, um, you just speaking on your brother. Um, a lot of people hear Scrap Gang and they like, I right, who is Scrap? Um, now who is Scrap to you? Like break break this shit down for the people who don't know. Like who is Scrap to you? It's my little brother. Okay. Same mama, same daddy, or how that how they go? Same mama. Same mama. Yeah. Little mama. Okay. Yeah. Now, how, what was y'all relationship like growing up and shit? Well, my little brother, so you know, it, it was five of us though, you know. So he was the youngest. I was the second to the to the youngest. Okay. So he kind of looked up to me more. You feel me? So hell yeah, that's all. He uh he used to be uh running up behind me a lot on phone now. In the hood, getting me into fights and shit for nothing. For nothing. Scrap, I swear to God, Scrap, bro, Scrap used to get me into some shit. One time, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know what the fuck they was doing as some kids. He was, um, they was throwing rocks at somebody in the backyard or something. And a girl came out. She was kind of older though. I guess she was trying to fight him and shit. He was young, you know. Scrap was probably like twelve around the time. Mm -hmm. Whole time she. He fighting, I finally come on the block and see what's going on. He crying and shit. Scrap, I always get emotional when he crying, when he mad and shit. He, he, this bitch just, this bitch. He mad as hell, right? He pick up a bottle. He, now I'm in between them. Cause yeah. this is a female too at the end of the day, you feel me? I'm right. just like, y'all tweaking. But Scrap get that, throw the bottle. Why that motherfucker hit me in the back of my ear? That motherfucker, <laughs> ping! Um, Bottle hit you. I damn it got knocked out. This was scrap <laughs> dude, scrap ass say, bitch, you just made me hit my brother. <laughs> Boys up. Oh, he get bro. to cry even more. I'm your ass. It's funny as hell. Scrap. <laughs> but I was mad as hell. Boy, you the, I don't know who the fuck to be mad at now. Oh, fuck him, girl. He hit me with a bottle. She right here <laughs> arguing shit up, man. What the fuck? Really? Now they got it too. You say you ready to be both of their ass. Man, scrap that. ass used to be crazy. <laughs> I'm fucking crying. For real though. Nah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, Scrap was definitely a good person. You know what I'm saying? He was just young, just just grew into this shit real young. And a lot of people just kind of get this perception of him, like of what they seen, what they get, what they seen when he finally put himself out there. You feel me? So, but Scrap was a, you know what I'm saying? A, a young, he was young, and he was um, Scrap really played basketball, real shit. We just did the. Scrapping um duck legacy basketball games. Yeah, I seen yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, that was that was big too. That was big. And if anybody like you know want to know why like it was like scrapping duck legacy because in our family scrap played basketball. You feel me? And duck was kind of like that glue. You know what I'm saying? That kept us together. And and I just look at it like the whole thing we put together was just like scrap. We played basketball. That's why we did a basketball game. And duck brought us together. As a family, you know what I'm saying? We had fun. Kids had fun. Everybody went home safe. But yeah. Oh my God. So look, being being you scrap <coughs> oh the mic. <coughs> shit. <coughs> yeah, this is some shit right here, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit hitting back. Phone up, yeah. What y'all put in here, Ruga? Hey, hey man. Speaking, speaking of what y'all put in here, y'all poison my homie, bro. Y'all poison Ooh. FYB Lil Mike. Do I gotta go Ooh. there? I seen that shit. It hit different. He got poison. He got poison the night that uh, everybody was at Mama Duck House. It hit different. At Mama Duck House is diabolical work. <laughs> do, do I gotta go there? It hit different. So they get that y'all poison him for that. I don't know. I can't say it I was you. Tell. Yeah, they say you was. Though. I was there. They say you breezed through. That's why I'm like, oh, that's an option. That, like, you a suspect. Breeze through when it happened is you, it's crazy. You a suspect, bro. You a, a suspect. You a suspect, bro. <laughs> in, that, in that case. In the FYB, little Mike getting so, poisoned. So, case. how, what, what? My homie you? woke up bleeding out his nose, bro. Let's start there. His nose is bleeding. His, he, it was a lot of blood, bro. Do he do drugs? He, he don't do, do them type drug. of drugs. What type of drugs y'all get? Him, Niggas bro? be sneaking and doing drugs, too. So, FYB, little Mike is a, is a addict? I don't know. You never know. Shit, motherfucker might have okay. did a. Motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is the? Motherfucker, better. <laughs> okay, okay. Motherfucker, nose bleeding. That's emotion. You see what I'm saying? What kind you of put drugs? Put two and two that? together. They run hand in hand. You see what I'm saying? Ah, right, y'all bogus, bro. I I don't know who did that shit. I don't, I don't know. You, you just different. gotta look at every angle. 
Nah, I break this shit down. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Nah, let, let's get right into this, this real whoop, bro. So, um, what I was going to ask you is, being as um, you scrap Big Brother, um, how how did that feel? A lot of us rappers, me, you, um, Ebby G Young, um, Duck, Brick, um, a lot of us, um, Lil Dirt, a lot of us lost our brothers in this shit. How do how do that feel as an artist um, to lose, n- not just as an artist, but as just a human being to lose somebody so close to you, and then w- with all like with your big success right now. Man, that shit fucked up, you know? I know everybody know how that shit feel, you know what I'm saying? Because we all lost a person, you know what I'm saying? And, but at a fast rate like that, you know what I'm saying? Us steady losing people, everybody just losing. That shit create trauma, you know what I'm saying? They create trauma. But most of the time it's the guys. How do it feel when it's your blood brother, you know? Because like, we from the rack, for we, we used to the guys. Like, the guys, yeah, these are our brothers, but when it's your blood, when it's family, family folk, like a nigga that like, your mom, like your came out your mama, bro. So it hit Man, different. That shit, that pain don't go away, boy. Like for real. Like you, it be them times you need your brother. You feel me? Like you be want to see him. You know, like okay. just coming from in a house together every day, growing up to not seeing him no more. That shit a fucked up feeling, bro. For real. Like, and nah, uh, people don't even know I lost two brothers. You feel me? So it's like shit hit deep in my home. You know. My OG ain't been the same, you know what I'm saying? OG be going through a lot of shit. Like, I be seeing my mama go through a lot of shit, like. Damn. You know what I'm saying? It's times she be, you know what I'm saying? Catching up crying and shit, like just, you know? But and how the fuck that make you feel seeing your OG but, still um, break it down and cry? Um, Like, probably like after the way out the situation's happened. How that, how that make you feel as a man? Shit, but it's like, all you can do is just beat up for your mama. You do the right thing, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. Like. When you look at your mama in that type of form, going through that shit, like, that shit make you want to do the right thing, bro. You got to be that child to do something right, you know? Because it's like, she lost two. I got two other brothers, you know what I'm saying? They doing good in life, too, you know, doing they, but it's like, I got to, you know what I'm saying, do what I got to do, too. I got to, I got my brothers, my older brothers, uh, they was more like, one of them locked up right now, you feel me? But. The other one, he was uh, I was he was like third to the youngest over me. So I looked up to him, you feel me? And bro got out of the out of the, he used to be in the same hood with me. Got out the hood probably like around 20, 2012. I'm talking about got got his got on his shit, you feel me? Bro. Started working, getting money, you know what I'm saying? And, and jumping at flipping cars. Now I'm just watching bro do this shit, you feel me? So that shit kind of made me pick up them ways. And I I'm grateful to say I had a big brother that did the right thing, you feel me, and kind of showed me and groomed me the right way, you feel me? Right. But, um, yeah, that's all it really was. You know, I looked at, looked up to my brothers that, you know, some of them, we all make mistakes in life, you know, but 